In this lesson, we're going to look at graphing linear functions using the x and y intercept method. Here's a quick overview of the three different ways to graph linear functions. In this problem, this method is the best when you actually have the x and y on the exact same side of the equation. So here's my equations, 2x plus 4y equals 12. And in this problem, what we're going to do first is we're going to plug in 0 for x. So as you can see here, wherever I saw an x, I put a 0. So 2 times 0 plus 4y equals 12. And I'm going to solve the equation, so I get rid of the 0. Then I divide each side by 4, and we get y equals 3. And put the 3 over here. Now, unlike the other methods where we actually just put a whole bunch of values in for x, in this method we plug in the 0 for the x in the first one, then we're going to plug in the 0 for y. What that allows me to do is to find the two intercepts. <coughs> So in this case, I plug in the 0 for the y, so I have 2x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the top one. We're going to have 2x equals 12 and divide both sides by 2. So x ends up equaling 6. This one right here, the 0 with the x and the y with the 3, that's my y-intercept. And this one, the 6, 0, is my x-intercept. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph those two points. So I go 0, 3, 1, 2, 3. Put a point right there. And this one I put six zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And since you only need two points to graph a line, we have our two points now. We would just connect and draw a line between those two points. And there is my equation graphed using the x and y intercept. I want to look at one more problem just to make sure everybody is comfortable with doing this. In this problem, we have 3x minus 2y equals 6. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to plug in 0 for the x. So you plug in the 0 for the x. And we have negative 2y equals 6. Remember to divide by the negative sign to get rid of the negative sign as well. So you end up getting y equals negative 3. And we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to plug in 0 for the y this time. So we plug in the 0 for the y. So 3x minus 2y equals 6. So 3x equals 6. So x ends up equaling 2. And if you notice over here, I put x equals 2. So again, this is my y-intercept, the 0, negative 3. And this is my x-intercept, 2, 0. So I would graph those two points. So I'm going to go down 3 this time and put it right there. And I'm going to go over 2 and put a point right there. And we would draw the line between those two points. Remember, every point is an x and a y coordinate. So that's the x and that's the y in the one row. Don't ever mix the x and the y from the two different rows to get a point. That won't work. Save. 